In the King's community of North Vicksburg, Mississippi, friends and relatives are helping Joanne Parks pack up her worldly possessions. The floodwaters in the area have risen a half meter in the last 24 hours, and there is fear they could reach her house within the next week. This is one of the higher areas here in the Kings community. And, you know, like myself and a lot of others, we have homeowners insurance, but we don't have flood insurance because we have never been um, required to have it because it's not a flood area. Vicksburg is an old river town where the waters of the mighty Mississippi and Yazoo rivers meet. Known for its American Civil War history, it is a tourist town. But heavy spring runoff and higher than average rainfall hundreds of kilometers upriver have sent a torrent of water south, creating flooding in five states. In Vicksburg, the waters are currently 16 meters above flood stage and will crest at 17.5 meters sometime next week. 70-year-old Winston Holman has lived here all his life. I've never seen the river as high as it is right now. And I hope I never see it get this high again because it's hurting a lot of folks around here and a lot of businesses. The flooding is primarily in an industrial area south of downtown and in residential areas like the King's community. Officials estimate the waters will flood 1,000 homes in the area. The engineer said when he get to the uh, blue, a red mark in the street it's supposed to crest. 60-year-old Pop McDonald's house already has a meter of water in it. This is the second time he has been flooded out but he says he will return when the waters recede. I'm looking at at least a couple of months before I to get it, you know, see how much damage it did and how much repairs I got to have on it. The bed is full with clothes where we are sorting out clothes here on the bed. Today is Joanne Park's 61st birthday. She has lived in this house since she was 14 years old. This is the first time she has had to leave. There are many memories she holds dear and deciding what to leave behind is painful. It's just a lot of things that's got to go. It's some of the things we got to go and some of the things I don't know where we're going to store it. It's just, it's just hard. I know it's a lot of things we're just not going to be able to save. This is the 18 wheeler here that we've been loading. Her brother has been helping to load a large moving truck loaned to her by a friend. Leaving is hard, but staying behind is not easy either. We have nightmares going to bed at night, not knowing that uh, when we wake up, whether the water done traveling and it's in the yard or something. So it's, it's hard. Uh, my brother over there. And Joanne says she will be out of the house within a few days and doesn't know if she will return. She told us one good thing from this experience is that it brought her closer to family and friends. She and her daughter will live with her best friend for a while and wait for the floodwaters to rise and fall. Jeff Swicord, VOA News, Vicksburg, Mississippi.